just as I thought, e brake. The e brake is on, and this tire here was locked up for a little bit of driving, and it actually wore the brakes, wore the brake pads out a little bit. How to adjust an e brake on a four wheel disc brake Escort GT or Mazda Protege. And uh, so the first step, step, obviously, is jack the power up support on a good jack stand, not a jack. And go ahead and remove your rear tire that you want to adjust. Okay, the tools required is going to be some 14 millimeter ratchet or ratchet wrench, something 14 millimeter to remove the bolt that holds the Allen head in. And then you're going to need a 5/32 Allen bit, either Allen wrench or uh, I got this blue point. I got the the quarter inch nut driver. And then, of course, you're going to need something to remove your wheel with, which is right there. Mine happens to be 21 millimeter lug nuts. So, now we'll get to it. Okay, so, on the back of your caliper, there is a 14 millimeter bolt. Do not remove this one. This one holds the, the bracket on. Go ahead and remove this one right here. I've already loosened it. So, I'll go ahead and take it on out. And then behind there is an Allen head that you're going to adjust with your driver here. I'm going to stick that in there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let the e-brake cable go because I forgot to do that. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to tighten this puppy all the way up until you can't turn anymore, okay? That sets it all nice and tight. Okay, now so this e-brake is locked up. So now what you're going to do is you're going to back it off until you can spin it by hand again. That feels about normal. Okay, so now you're going to go ahead and turn it tighter again until it's hard to spin. Okay, it is hard to spin now, and then I guess I have warped rear rotors because it gets easier and harder. So let's adjust it on the hardest part right here. Let's get it to right there. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to go and loosen up just a hair. See how much of a hair that was? I don't think that was enough, but what I'm going to do now to reseat it is I'm going to go ahead and step on the brakes. Okay. And I'm going to go and pull the e-brake up and back down. And I'm going to go check it. Let's see here. Yeah, see, that's still pretty hard, so let's go ahead and back it off again. Just another hair. Like about an eighth of a turn. And that spins about free for a disc brake. Because remember, the pads always ride on there. Go ahead and pop the brake one more time. Breakage. E brake up, and down. And that sets it all good. Okay. It feels about normal. I'm going to take it off one more little tiny hair. Just like that. There. And when you spin it, it should just spin and stop. Spin and stop. It shouldn't be like, oh, I can't hardly turn it. And then, that's all there is. Now you're just going to go ahead and pull your tool, your Allen driver out. You're going to go and grab your 14 million bolt. Make sure that copper washer stays on there. That's what keeps dust and debris out of the back of this caliper. You don't want to get dust and debris in there. So now you just thread that puppy back in there. And then, you don't want to get it too terribly tight with your ratchet. You just want to go ahead and just put a little pressure downwards. About like that. I don't know if I'd have to put a foot pound on it. Foot poundage on it. Uh, probably less than 10 foot pounds, somewhere around in there. And now your e-brake is adjusted. Okay, so I've got the lug nuts on their finger tight. E-brake is on. Now I can barely spin that, and that's not even on all the way. So much improvement, much improvement. So that's all there is to adjusting your e-brake. Now you make sure to torque your lug nuts. So at least here you torque your lug nuts down. Like I said, e-brake is on. Your tire's not on the ground. Ooh, look, it's not magic. You should be able to torque your lug nuts to 85 foot-pounds easily without the tire moving. And I always use a torque wrench on my wheels.